Hey folks, today we're going to be looking at an absolutely humongous dark fishing spider, also known by the scientific name of Dolomedes tenebrosus. Uh, these are frequently misidentified as wolf spiders, and I know this because I just found out myself that I've been making that mistake most of my life. But uh, dark fishing spiders are the largest species in Delaware, and this individual is one of the biggest spiders I've personally ever seen in my home state. Uh, the females are significantly larger than the males and can grow larger than, than an inch long, not counting the legs. And with the legs, they can be over three inches in length and certainly this individual is in the upper end of that range. I encountered this big fat scary lady at around 1 a.m. on a muggy steamy night in the middle of June 2023. There had been some rain earlier in the day so it was the sort of weather that the spiders in Delaware really really like. She was on a stump right next to a riverbank, which I gather is the sort of environment dark fishing spiders tend to prefer. Now, other kinds of fishing spiders are really quite adept swimmers, and you'll frequently see those walking along the surface of the water hunting for little insects and occasionally small fish. They don't build webs to catch prey, though the females do spin webs to help protect their egg sacs, and they also guard their young before and shortly after they hatch. However, the dark fishing spider is apparently less of a swimmer than its cousins, so you're not likely to see something like this walking on water. So here you can get a quite clear view of the abdomen of the spider and one of the ways that you can immediately identify a dark fishing spider is by the markings on the abdomen. Uh, you can see those uh, little lines that look kind of like uh, W's on the back of it. That immediately tells you that this is a dark fishing spider. Uh, you can also uh, differentiate these guys from wolf spiders by the arrangement of their eyes. Uh, however, I did not get quite as clear a view of the eyes uh, in order to uh, point that out properly. Actually, what I'm using to film this is a GoPro with a cheap uh, macro lens, which... Uh, gives you a relatively clear close-in view but it has its disadvantages and uh, I'm holding a flashlight in order to keep this lit so keeping the spider in focus is kind of a kind of a challenge but that was a lucky ant just now but yeah, dark fishing spiders are mostly nocturnal. Uh, you're not likely to see one of them out in the open during the day like this. Uh, during the day they mostly hide under rocks and in dead tree stumps and in, in dark crevices and places like that. And then during the night they come out to hunt. Uh, and their bite is not poisonous to humans, though if you do happen to get bitten by one apparently it hurts a lot now every everything that I've read indicates that actually getting bitten by one of these is very rare and is only really likely to happen if you decide to grab it for some reason which I I don't know why you would do that uh, and in case you're wondering like I've got my camera on a on a selfie stick so I'm not I'm not as close to the spider as it might look in this video. Uh, in part because it's like a great big spider and it would be creepy to have it crawling around on you even if it wouldn't be especially dangerous. 
But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, there will be more to come in the, uh, in the next few weeks and months. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and also consider checking out my other channel, From Delaware to India, link in the upper left hand corner. Uh, there I explore off the beaten track locations on the Indian subcontinent, such as obscure medieval ruins in the mega city of Delhi, living root bridges in the jungles of Meghalaya, formerly headhunting Naga villages on the Indo Myanmar border, and more. Uh, the content there is obviously rather different from what I post here, but you might still find it interesting, and uh, thank you very much.